Have you ever pondered the vastness of the universe and wondered how everything came into being? Our journey begins with a cosmic conception, in the deep realms of space far beyond our human comprehension. Stars, those shining beacons that dot the night sky, are not just born, they are formed. Their birthplace is nestled within the vast clouds of dust and gas, known as nebulae. These nebulae, spanning light years across, are the very nurseries of stars, the cradle of their existence. Each nebula contains an unimaginable amount of particles, all drifting in the cosmic winds of space. Now imagine these particles, these tiny specks of dust and gas being drawn together. This is where gravity, the cosmic puppeteer, steps in. It starts to pull these particles closer, clumping them together, creating a denser and denser core. This process might take millions of years, but in the grand scale of the universe, it's merely a blink of an eye. As the core becomes denser, the pressure starts to mount. With gravity pressing in from all sides, the core heats up, creating a pressure cooker of cosmic proportions. The temperature rises higher and higher until it reaches a critical point. This is where the magic happens. This is where a star is born. The intense heat and pressure trigger nuclear fusion, the process that powers the stars. Hydrogen atoms in the core start to collide, fusing together to form helium. This fusion releases a tremendous amount of energy, causing the protostar to glow brightly. This glowing ball of gas is our newborn star, a fresh addition to the cosmic family. And so, a star begins its life, a shining beacon in the cosmos, born from dust and gas. It's a celestial ballet, choreographed by the laws of physics, and performed on the grandest stage of all, the universe. A journey from a cosmic cloud to a radiant star, a testament to the wonders of the cosmos. Now that the star has been born, how does it live out its existence in the universe? The answer lies in the main sequence stage of a star's life, the most significant and longest phase of its existence. During this stage, a star is like a master chef, cooking up a storm in its core. It's here that the process of nuclear fusion takes place. But what is nuclear fusion? Well, it's not your everyday cooking process. It's a powerful reaction where hydrogen atoms are combined under extreme heat and pressure to form helium. This process is akin to a massive cosmic pressure cooker, with the star's gravity providing the necessary pressure and its core supplying the extreme heat. This fusion process is not just an ordinary reaction, it's the star's lifeline, the source of its energy, and it's an incredibly efficient one at that. Every second, millions of tons of hydrogen are converted into helium, releasing an enormous amount of energy. This energy works its way to the star's surface, escaping its heat and light. It's this light that we see when we look up at the night sky, a beacon from billions of kilometers away. The main sequence stage is a star's prime time, its golden age. This stage can last anywhere from a few million to several billion years, depending on the star's size. The larger the star, the shorter its main sequence stage. You see, larger stars burn through their hydrogen supply much quicker than smaller ones living fast and dying young. Smaller stars, on the other hand, are more economical, stretching their hydrogen supply over billions of years. So, throughout its main sequence stage, a star maintains a delicate balance. The gravity pulling everything inwards is perfectly matched by the pressure from the energy produced by fusion pushing outwards. This equilibrium results in a state of stability, a balance that allows the star to shine brightly in the cosmic stage. In this equilibrium, a star glows brightly, a constant in the ever-changing universe. Everything that begins must end. So how does a star, an entity of such immense energy and light, meet its end? The final stages of a star's life are as fascinating as its birth and life. Once a star has consumed all of its hydrogen, the element that fuels its nuclear fusion, a profound change takes place. The star begins to expand and cool, transforming into what is known as a red giant. This phase of a star's life cycle is like a grand spectacle in the cosmos, where a once modest star balloons into a colossal glowing entity. A red giant can grow to be over a hundred times larger than its initial size. Despite this, it's not the size that signals the end, but rather the temperature. As the star expands, it cools down, and its fiery white-hot core begins to fade into a deep, crimson red. The red giant phase is not the final act of the star, however. As the star continues to burn through its remaining fuel, it enters a stage of instability. This is where the star begins to shed its outer layers into the universe. This shedding creates an astronomical spectacle, a cosmic ballet of light and color, known as a planetary nebula. However, the star's core remains intact. The outer layers may have been shed, but the core of the star persists, compacting and shrinking until it forms a white dwarf. This white dwarf is a dense, hot core of the star. 
the last vestige of its once vibrant life. In this white dwarf stage, the star continues to cool and fade over billions of years. It's like the embers of a once roaring fire, slowly dimming until they're nothing more than a wisp of smoke. Eventually, the white dwarf will cool to the point where it no longer emits any light or heat, fading into the cosmic background. In its final act, a star transforms, leaving behind a testament to its once vibrant life. The story doesn't end with the demise of a star. What happens next, you might ask? Well, the fascinating journey of a star continues even after its death. The afterlife of a star involves an explosive spectacle and the birth of new celestial bodies, creating a cycle of life in the universe that is as continuous as it is mesmerizing. When a star exhausts its nuclear fuel, it collapses under its own gravity, leading to a dramatic explosion known as a supernova. This cosmic event is so bright that it can outshine an entire galaxy for a short period of time. But what's truly fascinating is what the supernova leaves behind. Depending on the original mass of the star, the aftermath of a supernova can result in either a neutron star or a black hole. Neutron stars are dense remnants of exploded stars, compacting so much mass into such a small volume that a teaspoonful would weigh as much as Mount Everest. These stellar remnants spin rapidly and emit beams of radiation that sweep across the cosmos like cosmic lighthouses. On the other hand, if the star was particularly massive, it could collapse into a black hole, a region of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape its grasp. Black holes are invisible to the naked eye, but their presence can be detected by the effect they have on nearby matter. The remnants of a supernova, however, are not just celestial graveyards. They are also cosmic nurseries. The dust and gas expelled during the explosion can mix with other elements in space, eventually condensing to form new stars and planets. This process can take millions of years, but it's a beautiful example of how the universe recycles material, turning the end of one star's life into the beginning of another's. Even in death, a star contributes to the cycle of life in the universe, a cycle that is as beautiful as it is unending. So the next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember that each twinkling light is part of an ongoing cosmic saga of birth, death, and rebirth. From birth to death and beyond, the life of a star is a journey of transformation. A journey that we have traversed together in this video, witnessing the cosmic spectacle of star formation, life, demise, and afterlife. We began with the birth of a star a cosmic conception that takes place in the dense, cold pockets of interstellar clouds. Under the relentless pull of gravity, these gas and dust particles coalesce to form a protostar. As the protostar continues to accumulate mass, the pressure and temperature at its core escalate until nuclear fusion ignites, marking the birth of a new star. We then explored the life of a star, a phase marked by equilibrium, as the forces of gravity and radiation pressure balance each other out, during this period, the star shines brightly, converting hydrogen into helium through nuclear fusion, releasing vast amounts of energy in the process. Our journey continued to the inevitable demise of a star. Depending on its mass, a star meets its end, either as a white dwarf, a neutron star, or a black hole. Each of these outcomes is a testament to the incredible forces at play in the universe, painting a vivid picture of the star's final moments. Finally, we delved into the afterlife of a star, where the remnants continue to play a crucial role in the cosmos. The expelled layers of gas and dust from dying stars become the birthplace of new stars, while the cores left behind continue to fascinate us with their extreme properties. The life cycle of a star is a testament to the dynamic nature of the universe. Stars are not static fixtures in the night sky, but active participants in the cosmic drama, constantly evolving and reshaping the universe around them. Next time you gaze at the night sky, remember the incredible journey each star has undertaken. In the grand orchestra of the universe, each star plays its part, contributing to the cosmic symphony that is our universe.